everybody welcome back to the channel guess what we are going over today you already know this is the new pattern release by itch to stitch patterns the Madalena vest you would have already seen my short and my post over on instagram here on youtube thank you guys for all of the love i promise that i will be coming in with a full review so here we are all right i want to welcome everybody to the channel thank you for those who are new tuning in today i greatly appreciate it if you like this content don't forget to thumbs up this video of course on your way out and consider subscribing and don't forget to thumbs up this video again on your way out so let's get into this pattern review so I was a pattern tester for itch to stitch patterns. You all know I love itch to stitch patterns. One, because it is size inclusive and her patterns also come in different cup sizes and I love the block. It fits into me, uh, fits me well and her instructions are really easy to follow. So let me share with you the um, review and everything that kind of the process for the testing and what I end up going with. So i am so happy with this and of course i'm gonna pop up video and pictures and all of that and i'll also leave a link check the description box if you are interested in this pattern it's only on sale until september 11th for 20 percent off i do have an affiliate link that will be down in the description box so go ahead and click on that and make your purchase if you are interested i will say the fabric for this came from joanne fabrics so this denim came from joanne Fabrics. so i got that online and you will notice because this is all about the madalena right but you will notice <laughs> i did a whole denim on denim look so excited about it i paired it with no me why can't I think of it off the top of my head? It just came and left, but I'll pop it up on the screen. You already know I made this pattern back in February during, yeah, this was during BHM Pattern Designers. And so um, this is a Nomi pattern, Beauty Jador. I made the denim jeans out of the same denim. I love this denim. I rarely have any, um, no, yeah, I don't have any other light color denim other than this particular denim. So, so happy to do a denim on denim look. I thought that was perfect for this look. But anyway, if you are interested in a review of the Nomi patterns, the denim jeans, in my experience, go check out that video. I will pop it up in the iCards and leave a link to it down in the description box. You can go check it out, my thoughts and everything uh, for the pattern, absolutely love. So, the Itch to Stitch Madalena Vest. All right, so in the initial testing, I okay, usually for testing, I might have to make different types of tweaks and different things based on, you know, the first iteration of the pattern and any updates that are made. So there was an update during for the pattern during the test, but I didn't, I hadn't printed it out. It, they did that like real quick early on. And so when Kenneth did version two, I said, okay, let me go ahead and make my muslin, see what kind of um, adjustments I have to make. My muslin, I started out at a 18 at the shoulder and graded out to a 22 and a 24 at the waist and hip because I know that this pattern is meant to close up and meant obviously to wear by itself obviously you can wear something underneath as well but yeah I was like okay I want to make sure there was enough room around here because of the design style that it would fit properly and so that's what I did and this is how the muslin looked and so the muslin turned out perfect i was so super excited that it turned out so good there's only four pattern pieces and you guys what i absolutely love about this is that it's princess seams you all know i just shared in my subscriber pick for august i did a vest the simplicity pattern I do like that pattern. It is nice. It's a totally different construction style. That one is fully lined. This is not lined, but I'm going to show, show you the inside of this. If I don't say so myself, I love it. Okay, future editing me popping in to say, I'm going to pop up this picture again of the fit of the muslin. I forgot to mention on the right hand side, I needed to take some out based on the um, feedback from Kenneth. So I took out an upper 
part of the um, princessing. So I took out an additional, I believe it was about a quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch, because this was going off my shoulder. Um, that one side was going off my shoulder. So I forgot to mention that. So I want to future me pop in and say that. Now back to the video. And so I knew this design style because of the princess seams. If you are new to my channel, one of the things I always say is for, I prefer bodices, whether it's a dress, a, a top. I prefer if they have, you know, bust darts. I prefer princess seams because it's easier for fitting for me. Being full of bust, I just prefer that. And I actually, because I still sew many things with bust starts and everything in them, I need to purposely going for really start transforming those bodices of garments that I do like that have bust starts into princess seams, which you can do. There's videos here on YouTube about that. But, and if I remember when I do it, I'll record um, a tutorial so you guys know my process. But anyway, the Madalena is a vest top versatile front button sleeveless top that's perfect for summer but also it transitions beautifully into fall it is available in multiple cup sizes for a customized fit as i already said it has princess seams you do put buttons here but as you can see i put snaps because i wanted snaps on mine i absolutely love snaps i don't have anything against buttons let me just say that i don't I have machines that I can do them on. I just like, you all, for those who follow me, you know I absolutely love putting snaps in denim. Denim shorts, jeans, anything I make for my husband that's denim, it always has snaps in it. So that's just my thing. And so this is actually going into my denim collection series because I missed August, right? I have two denim projects I'll be sharing with you this month in September, but this is one of them. So this is going into my denim collection series. If you're new to the channel, every month in the month, uh, in the year of 2024, I am creating a denim piece item it could be a garment or accessory and i'm presenting it every month on the channel so this will go into that collection and you will see i'll make sure that pops up at the end of this video i will have a playlist of what um i've made so far this year as well as i'll put a playlist that pops up of all of the itch to stitch patterns i have made so if you are interested in itch to stitch patterns and for somebody, if you're about my size or whatever, you can then check out and see other things I have made. My full bust for measurement size is a 45. My waist, I measure at this time, I was a little bloated, was 40. And so that's what I used for this here. It was like 40, 41. And then um, the fullest part, I measured out at uh, 50. It was about inch bigger. It was about 52. So yeah, that those are the measurements I use at the time because I was bloated when I was doing this testing. So I wanted to make sure the sucker fit. And so <laughs> it fit. You do have options for the length of your vest. So she has a cropped and a hip length. My version is cropped. I wanted a cropped version because I knew I was going to wear it with something like the denim jeans that I had on, but it can most certainly go with a skirt. That would be so cute. Um, and my skirts will come up here. So I like where this hits on me. Again, you'll see all the pictures. You do finish the inside with bias tape for a clean, polished look that is part of the instructions. And it is designed for medium weight woven fabrics. Again, I use this denim. I can't remember what weight of denim this is though, but um at any rate, it works perfectly. So far as the instructions, you guys, this took my typical sewing time for projects like this is two to three hours. And this took about two to three hours. After I did the muslin, I saw that it worked, which meant I also went through the sewing process. So I knew how to put everything together. Only thing with the muslin, as you saw in the pictures, I didn't do buttons and, and or snaps or anything like that. And obviously I didn't finish off the armholes in that, but Aside from that, having to add on those additional steps for my final two to three hours, you'll get this sewn up beautifully. It is made for somebody who is 5'6", a height of 5'6". I am 5'7", for reference. And so these, 
I did go over the size, I do believe. So I, um, the instructions are super easy to follow. She walks you through how to put um, the so the bias binding in. But if you're familiar with doing that, that is no problem. Now, let me show you the inside. So the snaps that I use are Cam Utility Snap Size 20. If you are interested in a video that I share about Cam Snap, um, I'll leave that in the iCard here. You can go check that out if you're interested. But I'm going to take her off of Lady Dane here. Here she is, and I'm going to turn her inside out so you can see her. I am so in love with how this turned out look at this you guys i created some bias binding from some ankara that's what you see here from ankara fabric and i was like i found it in my because i was going to use a different bias binding and i was like oh i'm going to use that that will make this fun and this cute little label look at that label that i have in the back there that came from the confidence stitch if you saw the sewing buzz you know i ordered the fabric tape from the confidence stitch and with the tape came free two free garment labels so here is one of them um it says made with love so i just popped it in the back there but look at that bias binding you guys i went a little extra the pattern doesn't cause for you to do all this the pattern <laughs> I decided to finish all my seams with bias binding. It doesn't call for that. Um, she obviously has you use it around the neckline, the hem, and the arm side, but all these other seams, that was all me. And I am so happy that I did. I absolutely love how this turns out. Look at this, you guys. Yes, it took extra time. And still, even me adding the binding, that's what it probably took you know, had me go to three hours to finish this is because I added binding on all of the seams, but I didn't have enough for the bottom hem, as you can tell, but I had some purple that I um, just put in there that I thought was a nice contrast. As you can see around the neckline, finished beautifully in the hem. So yeah, all of my seams, I chose to use the binding. You don't have to do that. <laughs> But I thought it, it it's an easy sew. And I was like, why not? Why not? So that is it. I will start popping up some pictures and video. So super happy with how this turned out. I thank you guys for all of your lovely comments and compliments on how it looked on me. And you guys love when I wear my hair out. So yeah, at the time when I filmed all of that, I had my hair down. But you guys, it's hot. And my hair just goes like this. It swells out. And so, <laughs> and so I don't wear it out often in this humidity. And so as you can tell, she is r right back up. Just actually when it got her done the other day. Um, but anyway, so absolutely love it. I highly suggest it. So if you haven't tried an itch to stitch pattern, this is a good one to try. And if you missed it, she did, and I'll pop it up on the screen here, release a new freebie pattern, which is the Deba Topper. That is free. So if you are kind of like, you don't know if how the instructions are, get this one for sure. The instructions, I promise you, you will not go wrong. It's on sale. So go ahead and grab it. But if you are interested in maybe some other types of patterns and designs, she has the Deba Topper is free. I will also link that down below. That's free. Go ahead and download that. Get that also as well. So you can, um, you know, get familiar with itch stitch patterns if you are um, new uh, to her, her pattern company. Kenneth is absolutely wonderful to work with. Um, that's the owner, Kenneth Wong. And so she's absolutely uh, amazing to work with and test for. And her patterns are really, really good. So that's all I have. That is my review. Again, I highly suggest you grab this one. It is so, so good. And I love how mine turned out. And yeah, I'm loving the whole denim on denim look. I was able to pull off y'all for this one particular one. So stay tuned. Wednesday. We have another pattern test release and so yeah just stay tuned so if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe again don't forget to thumbs up this video i thank you all for your sharing i thank you all for your likes i thank you for coming in i thank you for coming back you all have a blessed blessed rest of your week and we'll see you on wednesday bye